सो गाइस वी टेक अप अनदर लेक्चर इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ विमेन मेंटल हेल्थ दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर वी विल बी टेकिंग अप फीटल अल्कोहल सिंड्रोम मोर ऑफ अ थियोरिटिकल टॉपिक द रीजन बींग दैट दिस इज आस्ड this is asked usually but the thing is that it does not find place in either child psychiatry or somewhere else so it's better to take it in this module itself right fetal alcohol syndrome as we all know is directly linked with the pregnant female when they are take using alcohol we will mainly do it for the purpose of our exam the reason being that this this is not asked in viva as such right this will clinically you won't encounter a lot of cases of fetal alcohol syndrome okay but then theory mein you can expect a question especially in paper 3 okay so fetal alcohol syndrome it it is a syndrome that occurs when the mother mother means that is the pregnant female i will be using this sign for pregnant female okay when the mother consumes alcohol consumes alcohol during pregnancy trimester one especially right right this leads to certain birth defects birth defects in the newborn and there could be intellectual disability there could be cns deficits that we will be seeing right so isme that we need to take care is ki fetal alcohol syndrome is not just a uh, what we say one single entity it is actually what it is a spectrum fetal alcohol spectrum disorder it is actually part of the spectrum there could be multiple manifestations on one end we have fas fetal alcohol syndrome sometimes the all the diagnostic criteria of fas are not met then it is known as p fas here p implies partial partial fetal alcohol syndrome then there is something known as arnd alcohol related neurodevelopmental disorder right then there is something known as ndpae neuro behavioral neuro behavioral disorders associated with perinatal alcohol exposure right so this is ndpae and the last is arbd arbd being alcohol related birth defects alcohol related birth defects so fetal alcohol syndrome is not just a single entity it could be any spectrum means if the pregnant female is using alcohol during pregnancy it could be any of these could occur it is not just that only fetal alcohol syndrome telling you because we should be aware of the terms like if question comes on arnd or arbd the matter would remain all the more similar but then if we do not know about these what is alcohol related neurodevelopmental disorder neurobehavioral disorder then you will not be able to write that well as you can okay and we know this is a more of a theoretical topic so it becomes easy to uh, compile everything at one place only epidemiology epidemiology mein just remember very variable data at various places you can remember 0.223 per 1000 live births 0.223 per 1000 live births actually in the uh, this western data i found 1.523 then 1.223 
Indian data 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. So there are a lot of variable data to better to say 0 0.2 to 3 per thousand live births, right? Then comes the etiology part. See the scheme of answer writing. The this is the template. What uh, as an app we are trying to do is we are trying to give you templates of writing question. You see every question begins with an introduction. Then we go to some special point about it or we include it in the introduction itself like if there is some other name of that or something else right then introduction is the basic one liner definition. Then we come to the epidemiology then we come to the etiology clinical features and your diagnostic criteria, criteria. because in psychiatry more, most of the times the clinical features are only the diagnostic criteria right only the numbers we have to remember baki the features are same then we go to the assessment that is investigation investigation we don't have as such so we write the name of the scales then we come to what then we come to your management management we divide into non pharmacological pharmacological and somatic part right and then in non pharmacological we have certain steps pharmacological certain and somatic ect rtms tdcs these kind of things and in the last we prognosis and prevention these are basically 10 points any question i told you that exam may it comes of 10 marks 10 into 10 10 question for 10 marks so it becomes easy you have 10 points in the mind whenever you read a topic also na you should clutch these 10 points if you have read 15 pages let's say those 15 pages should suffice your 10 points and then your topic is prepared for exam purpose for residency purpose read as much as you want you you can gain the maximum knowledge via your books via your learnings in your residency because you have n number of patients to see varied patients that you see right and most of the time is spent in wards itself so you have a lot of exposure to gain Okay, so let's come back to the topic etiology. Etiology may we will discuss risk factors and pathophysiology. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Milan Aroda. I am a psychiatrist. I have done my MBBS from Himalayan Institute of Jolly Grant, Dehradun. Thereafter, I did my MD from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Raipur. Currently, I am working as a teaching faculty at Conceptual Psychiatry. I have a series of lectures to take and uh, you can access these lectures via the Conceptual Psychiatry website or via the Conceptual Psychiatry app. Thank you.